Hey everybody, I'm going to show you my wicking beds today and a big secret I've been keeping for a while on how I made these for free, well, mostly free. All this blocking, it looks like aggregate, cut aggregate. See if you can guess what it is before I tell you. And also, while you're guessing, I'm going to show you on this bed down here, I lined it with polyethylene sheeting. In this entire bed, it's about 24 feet long, I created all the soil from leaves and coffee grounds. There's nothing more in there. And the polyethylene sheeting on the bottom retains the water. And I have some drain holes over here similar to my other garden bed that I showed earlier in a previous video. But with this, it goes into the polyethylene and I can extend the riser to retain more or less water as much as I need. Right now it is a little damp on the inside. I can look in there and tell. And uh, if it's raining a whole lot, I can just pop this off, let the water drain. filled up with some stuff, but that's all right. And I have another one on the other side over here, way down there. Um, and this thing stays moist, as moist as I want it, all summer long. I only have to water in one spot and it just permeates the whole bed. And I haven't done it to this bed yet. I'm thinking of doing it, but I have asparagus in here. This one's about three feet tall. So I might just do it on this end, put the bed liner in here. On this bed, have you guessed what these are yet? On this bed, I put the liner in and I had zucchini growing and the zucchini was green all summer long. Uh, you can tell it's winter now, but this is the remains of a zucchini plant here. It just went really crazy in there. Um, and I have asparagus here too, so I won't disrupt the asparagus. And just to show you how these wicking beds with no gravel, that's the key, I don't use any gravel. Pure leaves and soil. It's too much work to put in gravel. This is the one I featured on my previous video, just to show you. This is oregano. It doesn't grow well in wet, damp soil. And the only drain is right here. It's just like the other one. This is the bed I showed in the previous video. And I have just created the soil with leaves. Leaves, just leaves. Oregano is doing fine. It doesn't get too wet, even without gravel. Pure leaves turns to pure soil. Uh, the water keeps it moist in the bottom. And that's all I use, no gravel. Okay, so now for the big reveal. What are these blocks? How did I get them for free? These blocks, if you look closely, they're cut. They're nice to sit on. They've got straight edges on both sides, but they're curbs. When they put in neighborhoods, they cut the curbs out. And you can get these things for free all week long. Load your truck up. You can see how many. I've got in my garden. <laughs> now it is a little hard to mortar them all together, but when you do, oh, you will love it. Here's the other side, the part that you normally see from the street. See the curve? The curve of the curb. Here's the profile. That's the side you normally see. I flip them upside down and you get two straight edges. And it looks really great. Well, hey guys, I hope you enjoyed it. Please subscribe if you think this video helped you in your garden. And I will post a video of these things growing without the poly liner, with the poly liner. Maybe I'll put poly liner in this one. And this one has it already. And you'll see the results this summer. Okay, bye.